Hi guys, so today I am going to show you how to nurse in a Tula soft structured carrier. Uh, first things first, when you're going to be nursing in a soft structured carrier, it's best to have a shirt that you don't have to uh, use the two shirt method with to nurse. So I love shirts that have zippers down the front or buttons for nursing in the carrier or just something with a low uh, stretchy V that you can um, get your boob out of. Uh, nursing tank tops also work really great too. So this shirt is actually from Express. I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite shirts and bras for nursing, so expect that coming up. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Tula and I'll show you how to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Tula on uh, like I regularly would and throw my little nursling up here and then I will show you guys how to modify things so that you can comfortably get baby to the breast. Okay. So as you can see, I have my nine month old in my Tula carrier. She's nice and close to my body. She's got a nice seat. Her legs are nicely bent at the knee when she doesn't uh, do crazy things with them because she likes the party. And this is how I would carry her normally. Note where the waistband is, it's at my natural waist. Um, so to nurse her, obviously her head needs to be lower. So what we, we would do is holding onto baby, you turn around this way, holding onto baby, you're going to shimmy her down. So that she's nice and low. She knows what we're doing. And then I like to resecure this. And then, so now she's kind of midline and nice and low, closer to the breast, which is what we want. Now that baby is nice and low, you're going to transfer baby over to one hip or the other, whichever hip you're going to be nursing on. Well, whichever hip that's uh, below the breast that you're going to be nursing on. So to do that, what you wanna do is, um, I'm gonna nurse on this side. So you want to loosen the straps on the opposite side and scoot your munchkin over and then tighten the straps on the side where she will be nursing so that she's again nice and secured kind of like a little bit of a hip carry and then you will just bring your breast to baby and nurse her so if you are somebody who has smaller breasts you might need to bring the baby down a little bit more if you're somebody who has larger breasts sometimes putting something underneath your breast to support it while you nurse like a rolled up washcloth can actually help quite a bit but yeah this is nursing in a soft structured carrier so once you've got baby nursing you can make adjustments so that things are a little bit more comfortable for both of you guys and then the nice thing about the Tula is that you also have a hood that you can put up over baby. So if you are nursing in public in the carrier, people might not know what you're doing. They might think that the baby is sleeping, which is really nice. And one thing too, if you've got um, a baby who's a little bit more active and having trouble nursing during the day, nursing in the carrier is a great way to just calm them down and allow them to nurse in a really secure environment where there's less stimulation. So definitely if you're having a teethy fussy baby, nursing in the carrier is a great thing to do. So those are both things that I love nursing in the carrier for. I will say is I was never able to nurse in the Tula with the infant insert. I do not know if this was just because she was a baby, it was too difficult to do, or if I was just having issues because I didn't know how to nurse in the Tula, but things definitely, once we got rid of that infant insert, got much, much easier to nurse in the Tula. So, oop, there we go, she's just going to town. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.